Hey, if you have never used an Apple Silicon product before, instead of M3, I think you should consider getting an M1 or M2 now. So Apple has just released their new M3 processor with 3 nanometer process, which brings great power efficiency and a lot more horsepower. Yes, it's a lot better, like 40% increase from the M1 Pro, M1 Max processors, but even M1 Pro chip is still incredibly powerful. And if you haven't used an Apple processor before, it will be a great upgrade from Intel. I've been using this 14 inches M1 Pro MacBook Pro, and I've been using it for video editing. It's crazy good in 6K H.265 files, for example. In ProRes, it's amazing. I think it's perfect time to chase a deal while others rush to upgrade their laptop to the latest model. Do the opposite. <laughs> If people are selling their M1 and M2 laptops, get them if you can get them for cheap. Because for most people's needs, a discounted M1 Pro, M1 Max or M2 Pro or M2 Max will deliver tons of value and performance and it will still blow away uh, comparable laptops and you will save hundreds of dollars. Also, Apple's support for these devices is great. These Macs will receive updates for years. For example, 2018 MacBook Pro is still getting the latest Sonoma, macOS Sonoma. By the way, if you are doing 3D design work, 3D rendering, maybe the M3 Max would suit you better because in terms of GPU performance, M3 Max is a lot better than M1 Max and M2 Max. Let me know which one makes sense for you, getting a previous generation for cheap or getting the newest one. Let me know in the comment section below and See you in another video. Thanks. Bye.